it's clear from the start. What are you going for? <laughs> One of everything. That the charismatic Sorry, so this is Scott. and outrageous. I am the tequila master on this planet. John McAfee. Are you sure yes. you've got enough, John? Has a very well-stocked bar. We've moved on to gin. I'll take it. Thank you. And an unquenchable thirst for life. And yay. Champagne. <laughs> So now we've moved seamlessly onto vodka. Now, is that it? <laughs> I think we're done. What's it like being John McAfee? Uh, well, I doubt that you would want to walk in my shoes for more than 24 hours. Walking in the shoes of hard drinking, pistol packing renegade John McAfee is exactly what I'm about to do. I sleep with a pistol in my hand. And in the space of a day, the eccentric computer genius back and accused killer covers a lot of ground. Gee, you've had a fascinating life, haven't you? I don't know, it seems normal to me. International fugitive, you've run for president, you're a king of cyber security. This is not a normal life. The normal life should be doing what you damn well please. And I do what I damn well please. And doing what McAfee damn well pleases begins the moment he sits down. You're going to be smoking during this interview? I don't know what the Australian attitude towards smoking is, and quite frankly, I don't care, <laughs> because I am going to smoke. All well, right? I get the sense that you sort of make your own rules, and, and that's how it is. We're in you, your you asked me for the interview. I didn't ask you. These days, McAfee lives in a fortified mansion at a location he insists we keep secret. is building his second fortune, this time as the king of cryptocurrency. The Pandora's box has been opened. Everybody's going, oh, I wish I'd gotten in on Bitcoin at the beginning. This is the beginning. McAfee made his first fortune in the 80s. He was a young and talented computer programmer who worked out a way to tackle the world's first computer virus. So I read this and I go, oh. How is this possible? A computer virus is a program written by a hacker. And then it dawned on me how they did it. I go, wow, that's brilliant. And then instantly it dawned on me, well, we could do this to stop it. So I wrote a little program. How long did it take you to write? Uh, two days. Two days. Yeah, six months later, I had $30 million. McAfee Software became the global standard for antivirus security. McAfee may help you. And a gold mine for him. How did that change your life? And my wife bought bigger houses and Mercedes and, you know, the garages kept getting bigger and we had more staff. Um, but other than that, I, I was doing what I loved like I always had. You know, the joy doesn't come from the money or the stuff, it comes from what you do. McAfee embarked on a life of luxury and extremes, which eventually took him to the Central American nation of Belize. I was going to just fish, a boat, scuba dive, you know, lay in the sun on the beach, um, and, and enjoy myself. He surrounded himself with the things he likes best. Drugs, guns, and girls. Lots of girls. You had seven women on the go at one time. I would go over to the mainland uh, to visit my jungle property, and I'd come back in the evening, and all seven would have cooked dinner for me. Right? <laughs> no, come on. So, what do you do? Did so, you have seven dinners? Yeah, I'd have seven dinners, all right? So, how much weight all the... did you put on having to eat seven dinners every night? Yeah, well, I, I lost it trying to service them all. So it was, you know, it was a, <laughs> it's not the heaven that people think. It's seriously a nightmare. In Belize, McAfee won favour with locals by donating weapons to the police and computers to the government. But his idyllic life in the tropics came to a crashing halt when his neighbour, Gregory Fall, was murdered shot dead the day after a bitter dispute with McAfee over his incessantly barking dogs. He didn't like my dogs, that was clear. The dogs didn't like him. By that, that night, your, your nine dogs were poisoned. And, and that night, Gregory Fall was murdered. That very next night. It's the timing people can't get their head around, isn't it? Well, please God, what maniac, after someone had murdered your dogs, you suddenly, the very next day, murder them? Please God. Uh, Anybody would be smarter than that. Did you get away with murder? No, I did not do murder. This is, you know, let me make this perfectly clear. I had nothing whatsoever to do with the murder of Gregory Paul. 
But McAfee didn't hang around to answer any questions. Do you know who this is? He fled, claiming he'd been framed because he'd put spy software in those computers he donated to the government. My name is John McAfee. Which revealed ties with the ruthless Sinaloa drug cartel. I have absolute proof. McAfee encouraged the media to cover his crazed life as a fugitive. John McAfee is joining us now by telephone. My life has become a little more intense. Running through it for you was it that period on the run? Well, it was tense, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was touch and go. The um, evidence surfaced afterwards that the Prime Minister had ordered that I was to be brought back in a not living condition. McAfee finally surfaced in Guatemala. How many people at the checkpoint? Where he was arrested. John, where are you going? To jail. And then faked a heart attack to avoid extradition back to Belize. It worked. John McAfee has been granted a stay of deportation to Belize. McAfee was sent home to the US instead, where his life remains, well, complicated take his second wife, Janice, who he met under unusual circumstances. She was a prostitute, a working girl. The smartest woman I've ever met, and undoubtedly. The most devious woman I've ever met as well. So devious, he reckons, that she secretly agreed to help the Sinaloa drug cartel silence him. Has Janice tried to kill you? Yes, she tried to kill me for three years. I mean, she got paid a lot of money by these people. Yeah. She would do things like leave the bedroom door unlocked, uh, put things in my food, things like that. Remarkably, Janice, the would-be assassin, is still his wife. She confessed everything. But it's, that's a small thing. A wife trying to kill you is not so bad. I mean, there are well, worse things a wife can do, trust me. Even here at his mansion, McAfee is on edge, perhaps unhinged. Let's run back inside. Yeah, sure. I'm allergic to this. He's worried the drug cartel and the Belize government are still after him. I hacked the Belizean government for five months. And I have all of that data. Tens of thousands of hours of really? recordings and videos of the Prime Minister uh, ordering the murder of his competitors, uh, of gang members he didn't like. So, to protect himself, McAfee has an armed bodyguard. This is my good friend, Jimmy. Ex-Navy SEAL Jimmy. You know, my only job in the world is to save his life, to protect him at all costs. Talk me through this, uh, John. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's loaded, so be careful. <laughs> it's loaded, so be careful. It's got just a laser. If you can see the laser on the wall. Right, okay. Light plus laser. Light without laser. Then you've got the retractable stock. I can go through a door sideways with this thing, right? Try that with an AR-15 or an AK-47. You can't do that. So, yeah, I wouldn't be rushing into the to the McAfee kitchen anytime soon. No, no, I, well, you know, it's not, it's not me. It's these guys you need to worry about. <laughs> McAfee trusts no one. His paranoia even extends to food and drink. If you offered me anything, a drink, a French fry, I, I would refuse it. I don't take any food from anybody. Really. I cook my own. I well, you're not going to like my gift. I bought you an Australian bottle of wine and uh, some Australian oh, we'll, we'll, Tim Tams. I'll have my security <laughs> team examine it to see. No, really. So we'll have to get the Tim Tams and the Barossa Valley yeah. wine examined by your security you detail? Everything that I put in my mouth is examined. You can't help thinking John McAfee enjoys the drama. This is a man who's always lived life on the edge. The reckless world he inhabits suits him down to the ground.